Hello friends, welcome to Roman Sec channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get class 5 regular driver license. And I request you to have your notebook and pen ready because it's going to be quite interesting and a lot of information in this video. So I want you to get all this information and it's going to help you so much. And uh, comment below at the end. Uh, and watch this video till the end so you know everything we're gonna start with the newly driver license so if you are someone who doesn't have a license like me when I came here and I didn't have my license from India by the way hi I'm from India so when I came here in Nova Scotia Halifax I didn't have my driver license from India and uh, because I was I started this I started applying for uh, my license in India but then I realized uh, I can't take my newly driver license here uh, I'm going to show you that why at the end so you watch this video till the end so you know what I'm exactly saying so we're gonna start with first thing newly driver license and then if you already have license so that's going to be at the end if you wanted to like forward this video and watch maybe or you want to just keep watching everything because it, every, all this video this video is going to give you all the information that you need like I have notes ready I have did all my research but forgive me if I missed anything and comment below I'll get back to you as soon as I can as always and um, so let's get into the video we're gonna talk about how to get class 5 regular driver license uh, for newly driver if you don't have your driver license from India already or Pakistan or China or anywhere um, So first step is class 7 license. It's called learner's license So in which in this in this uh, exam, you're gonna give a written test which includes 20 signs 20 rules you need to pass that both exams um, and you need to have your 16 multiple choice questions answers right uh, if you don't do that you have to give the exam again you can do that on the same day you don't have to like wait for another time you just pay the fees which is $15 uh, $15 10 cent or something then you pay the fees and you can give that exam the same day let's say if you fail one exam you can give only that one ex one exam you don't have to give both exams so that's what makes if that makes sense anyway so class 7 license what you actually need to take with you so first thing you need to do you need you go to access Nova Scotia you take two pieces of ID with you if you're 18 uh, if you're 16 you need a guardian with you you can't go by yourself you need a guardian who can sign for you and so if you're 18 you need to have two if you're 16 or 18, you need to have two pieces of ID. One is um, photo ID. Photo ID means your identification with your photo. Uh, one could be your passport. One could be your Nova Scotia ID, which you will get once you land here because you can't do anything paperwork without that Nova Scotia ID. So you need to get that in the beginning. Anyway, so um, you need to have both a piece of ID. Um, you need to have your debit, credit, or cash anything MasterCard you can pay on um, there uh, right away and then first of all for your exam for uh, written test is $15 something test um, for the test written test you pay the fees you give your eye test and then you go give your written test if you don't pass your eye test guess what you're gonna go to the um, optometrist to get your proper glasses if you don't uh, have proper glasses with you and you can't um, see in the eye test if your eyes are perfect or you have a good eyesight then you don't need to go to the optometrist um, so it's it's very important if you have proper um, you know um, glasses if you're if you need glasses anyway so next thing we're gonna give the written test we're gonna pass that and then on the same day you're gonna go to the other line in Access Nova Scotia where you're gonna pay $25 uh, something uh, $25 Canadian uh, and you're gonna get that's for issuing your license they're gonna give you a license um, and that 
will have they will take your picture and then they will give you the license for uh, class 7 learners license and then you can also pay your road test fees which is $53 um, and then book the exam whenever you want you can even call them to book the exam when you're ready uh, obviously but um, that's called newly driver license um, so you need to give the class 7 um, it's actually for also if you already have driver license from India which should be full driver license it shouldn't be newly driver license it should be full driver license no matter which country you're from you need to have full driver license if you're coming to Canada and in the, um, if you don't have drive, new full driver license that's okay this video is going to help you in both cases so we gave the class 7 exam we got the class 7 learner driver license with photo and then you also paid your road test fees which is $53 and then you can pay you can call the phone number which I'm gonna give you all the information in the description you can click that link and you will see all the information that's given there as well and you're gonna call them and book the road test once you're ready so after you give your class 7 license you need to wait for 12 months to give your road test if you're newly driver license and if you don't want to wait for 12 months to give your road test you need to wait for nine months but you need to join a driving school here in nova scotia and then you're gonna attend their classes and everything give exam and pass that exam and then they're gonna give you a driving certificate yes this person has passed the driving um you know they're gonna also take your driving test and then give you a certificate based on that um you are like basically officially uh, a good driver from the school but uh, um, that way that's gonna decrease three months of your pe waiting period to give the road test so basically you're only gonna wait for after getting your class 7 license you're only gonna wait for like nine months to give the road test if you don't want to go through the driving uh, school then you need to wait for 12 months maybe you have someone who can teach you how to drive then you don't need to get go through the driving driving school you just need to wait for um, 12 months and then give your road test if you pass that's fine um, if you don't pass then book your exam again and pay the fees again and then give your exam again when you feel comfortable enough and um, this is only for newly driver license but uh, we're gonna talk about um, the if you have already your full license from India uh, so if you have already your full license from India uh, you're gonna give the class 7 license um, same as newly driver license you're gonna give the written test everything but uh, you don't have to wait for anything you just um, basically you have 90 days if you have a full driver license you have 90 days to drive as a visitor in Nova Scotia you don't need a license within 90 days but uh, if you wanted to keep driving after 90 days you should get your um, Nova Scotia like exchange they will exchange your driver license to Nova Scotia license um, you need to uh, give your written test and you need to give a road test as well within 90 days uh, of your arrival here if you if you keep driving after 90 days with your uh, out of Canada license you can they may suspend your license and they may have to they may like charge you or something or they may they may put restriction on your driving so please don't do that um, after 90 days if you don't have Nova Scotia uh, driver license you you're not officially allowed to drive here unless you have Nova Scotia driver license um, so yeah within 90 days you can get your license um, but for 90 days you can drive freely here in Nova Scotia if you have a full driver license from other country than Canada all right so that's for full, full driver license and then for newly driver license okay we have some stages to go through like I did and I'm still on um, so first one we got class 7 license um, and then we have to wait for 12 months or 9 months all right so you gave your road test after 12 months or nine months you pass that exam you get class 5 n which is a newly driver license in uh, Nova Scotia class 5 n n as an NC so that's what you get um, 
after 12 months or 9 months. After that, that's not a full license, by the way. You need to wait for two years after that. You need to wait for two years to get your N removed but R added, which is restricted time. Basically, uh, class 5R, you're gonna get after waiting, after waiting for two years, when you get your class 5N uh, newly driver license in Nova Scotia, you need to wait for two years. After two years, you can directly go to the Access Nova Scotia, like I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you in a blog on a different day. Um, you're gonna wait for two years and then you're gonna take your license, newly driver license with you and your um, certificate from driving school, which I have. Um, so uh, if you don't have, you have to give, you have to have that uh, defensive driving um, test, um, which I'm not sure, but uh, I'm pretty sure you need to give some kind of like certificate with you and then they're gonna remove that N and add that R at the end. So it's gonna be class 5R uh, restricted. So in that, it's basically, uh, it's basically known like called as um, or perceived as a re regular driver license, but it's, it is still in the restriction, uh, like restriction time. After getting class 5R, you need to wait for two years to get your actually R removed and get your class 5 license. But if your class 5R, it is considered as regular driver, driver license, uh, but it has two conditions. You're not allowed to supervise anybody. You can't supervise anybody else. Uh, you can't teach anybody and sit with them to drive the car. Uh, let's say if someone has a class 7 license um, and if you have a class 5 license, you can supervise someone and they can learn from you. But if you have class 5R license, you can't, so you're not supposed to sit with them on the front seat and show them how to drive because you are still not officially allowed to do that. So class 5R, uh, you, you have two restrictions. One, you are not supposed to supervise anybody. And second is you have zero tolerance of alcohol. You can drive your car even when you have like 0.1% alcohol, alcohol in your body. So make sure you don't drink for two years when you're driving at least. I mean, it's you're actually not supposed to uh, drink and drive even when you're when you have a class 5 license actually but uh, if you want to get like a regular driver license and you wanted to remove that I you, you're not supposed to drink at all zero percent um, alcohol in your body if you wanted to get class 5 license you need to show clean um, state kind of clean state of there's, there should be no record of alcohol and anything like that out of these two conditions. So then you're gonna wait for two years more and then you're gonna get class five license. Um, right now I have class five N, uh, but I have that license from two years, three months now. So I can go anytime and get my class five R, which is like a regular drive license. Um, but I still need to wait for two more years to get uh, that R removed and get my class five license. So this is for newly driver license and um, if you are a regular driver, if you already have license from your country and it's not new driver license, then you can get your license fully. You don't have to wait for like five years to get class five. This is so awesome. So make sure you have your full driver license if you're coming to Canada um, and then you don't have to wait for this many years, uh, especially if you wanted to drive truck because let me tell you, in class five, class one driver truck license, um, you need to have your class five or five R driver license to uh, actually go through that. But uh, I'm gonna talk about that video, that truck process, that truck license in my next video, which is coming soon, very soon, which is coming up very soon. Anyway, um, is there anything? Yes, um, yes. So if you have full driver license from any country other than Canada and you're coming to Canada uh, you need to make sure your license is translated in English if you don't then you need to have it translated before you even go to uh, Access Nova Scotia to get your class 5 license kind of 
or process ready um, or process started because um, they specifically want it to have to translate it in to be have to, this they want it to be in English so if you don't have that translated English yet don't worry there are some um, some organizations in Nova Scotia which will help you to translate your license into English but they're gonna charge you in dollars so yeah there's no need to worry there's a solution for that as well um there's no other thing I need to give you so yeah for for a person who has a full driver license they don't have to wait for class 5 or they don't have to wait to give they don't have to wait for like one year to give you a road test they can give you their written test pay the fees for road test book a road test pass the exam get class 5 yes that's so simple um all right so that was it and uh, i'm just gonna wrap up this video if you have any questions make sure you comment below and like this video and make sure you don't forget to subscribe this channel for lots more videos and next video i'm going to make on truck video which is going to be in punjabi um because i got a lot of requests to make that video in punjabi so i'm gonna th make that video in punjabi on truck license so stay tuned for that bye bye